Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I will show you how to create and animate this awesome illustration, so let's go! Before we jump into the video, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on patreon.com slash oneskill. As always, I will put all of the tutorial slides on my Patreon page, so all of my Patreons you can download the slides and enjoy them. So thank you very much and let's continue with the video. So first of all, let me find my sketch. I have already drawn this illustration on paper, I have scanned it and now let's insert it as a picture into PowerPoint. And I will actually put this image into the slide master view. I'll create a new slide layout and I will insert my picture. Because this way it will be much easier to work afterwards when we will be placing a lot of different objects on top of this picture. So you will see. And I add this white rectangle, I make it semi-transparent. You know, it helps to, you know, reduce the contrast of my image. And, you know, it just, it's easier to work with this image like that. Okay, and now let's get back to the normal view. Let's select our uh, slide layout with the image background. And now we go to insert, select rounded rectangle. And now all we have to do is basically, you know, fill our image with the basic shapes using uh, rounded rectangles, ovals, or anything else that you might need. And of course, feel free to use this orange bubble to adjust the roundness of your shapes. And as well, I will make this shape a little bit transparent so I can better see, you know, what's behind these shapes. Uh, you can quickly copy any shape that you want by first of all uh, hitting down the control key and then selecting any object that you want and clicking on it with the mouse and dragging and this way you will quickly make a copy of an object. Or you can just hit control D or you can hit, you know, control C, control V. <laughs> Many options in your disposal, my friend. And in this case, as you can see, I'm using the subtract function, subtract feature to make this half circle for the hand. Now it's really surprising how many, you know, shapes you can create with the basic shapes and with using those merge and subtract functions. Okay, so I have to finished filling my character with the basic shapes and around my character I had this idea of floating icons in a circle motion. So I'll just need uh, 8 circles and later on I will insert some icons into these circles and I will rotate this whole thing, so you will see. And here on the left side of the slide, let's just insert a couple of text boxes. For example, something related to studies or education, like study hard. And a small call to action button here at the bottom left side of the slide. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we can, you know, remove our background, I mean our background image. And now let's go find some beautiful color palette. The website I'm using is called Color Hunt. Let's just snip any color palette that we like and paste it into our PowerPoint. And now we can start filling our character with these, you know, colors that we have here using the eyedropper tool. So let's select any shape. Let's start with the head. Let's select the hair. Format shape. And uh, let's actually fill it with a gradient. So we'll need to have two colors. So for example, this dark blue and this purple color. And now we can play with the direction of this gradient. And once we're happy with the, how our you know, shape looks like, we can format, use the format painter and quickly paste you know, the same gradient to the rest of the shapes that we want to have the same look. So that's really convenient. So now I'll just speed up a little bit and I will add you know, gradients to the rest of the shapes using those colors from our color palette. Let's add a little bit of text below the main headline. Now let's make our background a little bit more interesting. I will create this uh, funny shape using the pen tool <laughs> well it's not called the pen tool but it works like a pen tool you can insert a bunch of points and later on using these handles suggest how, how your shape looks like so I'll just create something like this and I will copy the gradient from the face of the character yeah, this way, you know, slide background will look a little bit more interesting. Okay, so now we have filled all of our objects with color and now let's go to flaticon.com and I'm using this education icon pack, so it's completely free, you just have to credit the author. So all of the credits and links in the video description below. And now let's just insert a couple of SVG icons into PowerPoint. So I'll need eight icons in total. So let me just grab eight icons. So as you can see, those icons are huge. So I'll select all of them and reduce the size of them. And after that, we just have to select all of our icons and right click on them and choose ungroup. This way, all of these icons will, you know, they will become editable objects. You know, we will be able to change the color of these icons. 
beautiful now let's copy these uh, icons and paste them into our first slide let's fill them with you know bright color so that we can better see our icons and now let's position all of these eight icons into these eight circles easy peasy lemon squeezy Okay, so now let's group uh, each icon with each bubble. So drag with the mouse and hit Ctrl G. And after that, select all of the icons and hit Ctrl G once again so that we have one big uh, object. We can group the text boxes as well so it will be easier to move them around. Now let's select all of our icons and let's add a spin animation. So let's go to animation pane and click on spin. And make sure it starts with previous, which means it basically starts automatic. And in the timing tab, let's set the repeat to until the end of slide. So it will basically, it will be spinning all of the time until, you know, we exit the presentation. And let's set the duration of one spin to eight seconds or even better to 10 seconds. So no, it will be a slower spin, something like this. And now let's uh, do one more trick with the background. Uh, let's insert a you know full screen rectangle and subtract this you know funny shape that I have uh, created previously, so that we have something like this. Now let's paste this shape into the first shape. I mean first slide. Now let's insert another rectangle and let's subtract this rectangle from our you know, shape so we get something like this and let's fill it with uh, white color and let's make sure that our text box is in the front and soon you will see what kind of effect this makes so as you can see part of the icons they're hidden and then they appear so i think it adds a little bit you know fun element to the animation and let's add a little bit you know a few more of these uh, gradient shapes here on the right side to make you know our background a little bit more interesting And after that, I'll just insert full screen rectangles, select those uh, shapes and choose intersect. So, you know, I crop all of those shapes, you know, to the size of the slide. So now we have, you know, rotating icons, we have beautiful background and now we can, you know, animate those eyes. So eyeballs are rotating as well. So just go to animation and select animation path and choose circle. Now all we have to do is just to adjust, you know, this animation path. So let's make it a little bit smaller so that our eyeball is basically rotating inside of the eye. Let's remove any smooth start, smooth end, and once again, let's make it repeat until the end of slide, so it's you now infinite. And 
And now we can copy this animation to to the second eyeball and it looks beautiful. Okay, and now the last thing we have to animate the mouth so that it rotates as well in a circular motion and that it you know grows and shrinks at the same time so we have to apply two animations so the rotation animation we can copy it from the eyeball let's just adjust the you know the circle path a little bit and now let's add a second animation to the mouth object let's select it add animation and let's choose grow shrink and in this a case we want the mouth object to shrink to 50% and once again let's make it repeat until the end of slide uh, make sure it starts uh, starts with previous so with the rest of the animations And this is the final result that we have. So you can see the mouth animation resets each time. So what we can do, we can go to effect options and click this checkbox auto reverse. Let's see once again. Now every animation looks smooth. So ladies and gentlemen, now you officially know how to create and animate this kind of illustration. If you would like to support this channel and download this animation, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page, link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.